Okay, so from the front, you've actually got a gate here to shut off the front little courtyard area to give you some privacy. Double doors, feature glass bricks there to the double garage. This area here, between yourself and that vacant land, is all fenced off, as you can see here. So there is a brick wall there that runs down to the back, which has got a gate. So you've actually got a fully secure area here again. So your main bedroom's at the front, in through here. So, front doorbell. Hallway, which has got a skylight in. And you can see from here, you can see straight through, out to the back, and the actual water out there. The tiles do have little features in them also. So to the right is your main bedroom with a nice big window and um, blinds and curtains. Walking robe here to behind the door, which is quite spacious. Turn the light on for you. So you can see that's quite a big area. As you probably ceiling wise you can see. En suite which consists of double vanity, separate shower, and also separate toilet with the door. Back to the hallway. So from the hallway here, as I said, off to the left between the pillars is off where the kids' bedrooms are. So you've got queen size beds in them with ceiling fans and double doors. So good robe space. Third bedroom, that one's got a single door, but again queen size bed in there with blinds. Carpets have just been cleaned. So the main bathroom for the kids. So as you can see, you've got separate bath and the bonus of another toilet there and shower. And then the fourth bedroom, again, queen size bed, good size room with plenty of room for a chest of drawers. And this one's actually a bonus of, I'll open the door and show you, slightly wider road than the others. hallway. So the opposite the kids bedrooms is the formal lounge or dining as you can see they're using it as a study and that does have the servery through to the kitchen. It's quite a reasonable size room. So again you've got French doors here which do close off out to the back living area down lights through there of course and also you've got the reverse cycle air cassette for this back living room so to my right is the kitchen which has got your oven and a separate grill hot plate in the corner there double sink double fridge recess corner pantry don't know if you can just see in the distance there but you can see the tennis courts off through in the distance the open plan living at the back you can set it up however you like, but they've got meals and a family room there. With laundry and third toilet off to our left here. As you'll see, the laundry's good. It's got a cupboard plus bench and another broom cupboard over here as well. That's where the control is for your reverse cycle air conditioning. So at the rear of the property tucked around here is another living area. They use that as a sitting room. But again, could be for a pool table. Now we'll go through this back door. So you've got our fresco out here, with gabled patio, which is quite spacious. As you can see, plenty of room for a big table out there. We've got the barbecue out here, but there's also a brick wall to this side, which just protects from those colder winds. 
I mean, the breeze has, has picked up really nicely tonight. It's been a warm day again. So all tiled, paved out here, which makes it all low maintenance. So a nice outlook. As you can see from the back of the property, unfortunately this little bit of land's not sort of looked after too much, but there's just about a metre and a half to the water. Some ducks out there and some swans as well. So you may just be able to hear in the distance people playing tennis. But, as I said, it doesn't impose at all. So here I was saying about those thick gardens all the way around. And then that's where we're looking at the fence from the front. So that fully fenced that front section. But as I said, big patio area out here. This is where they spend a lot of time.